is no way. Can you leave me alone? Can you leave me? Excuse me. Can you help me, please? Can you leave me the f alone? Can you leave me the f alone? Back the f up. You just jump across the tracks to come and chat to me. Go back to your star. Yeah, that's calm. What do you mean? Stay away from me, bro. Let me chat. No, I don't want to chat to you. Fuck off. Off. I'm not, I don't want to chat to you. I don't know you from anywhere. Fuck off. I'll follow you though. Go away. Yeah. What is wrong I'll with you? I'll follow you though. If what you is do wrong that, with if you? you act up, I'll follow you. What is wrong with you? Okay, let me say my part. You've just jumped Okay, let me say my part then. What's the part? I don't know why you're acting like that. Bro, bro. go away. I don't want to know you. No, let me know. Let, let me see I don't want to know you. Can you go away, please? Oh, Can you f off? Let me say my part then. Oh, oh. Let me see Go away! Go away! You're not gonna take my sh off. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yo, yo, yo! What up? What up? What up? It's your boy Ty X Worldwide. Now check this out. You look creepy begging to talk to a woman. Let's go to the TikTok video. Homie in that video walked across the train tracks to holler at Shorty, and she like, "Yo, I don't want to talk to you." He's like, "Come on, let's chat." Guys, don't do that, man. Once a chick tells you she don't want to talk to you, that's it. You don't need to keep trying to force it. No, man. That dude was doing way too much. Guys, I would never, never, ever walk across some train tracks to go holler at a shorty. This man really almost risked his life. Like, think about it. He risked his life just to talk to shorty. Think about that. This man risked his life to go holler at a joint. Like, yo, it's not that serious, bro. But it's how thirsty he was. That just shows you how thirsty he was. And she knew that. She looking like, yo, this dude is so thirsty. He about to come over here and try to talk to me. I don't want you. <laughs> like, that's what she was saying in the back of my mind. Like, oh, this dude. And she could tell by the way he was walking. Like, if you go back and watch the video, he was he was on a hunt. He was like, I'm going to get her. She like, yo, this dude, what, what's wrong with him? <laughs> like, yo, this man about to risk his life to talk to me. <laughs> this is what they think about you. She's like, yo, get away from me, man. You creepy. You creepy. That's how you do it. He over there. Come on. I want to talk to you. No, I'm going to follow you. Like, bro. Guys, don't do that, bro. Listen here. Once a chick reject you, leave. Don't say nothing. Don't do not do nothing. Just leave, bro. You, there's nothing that you're going to say that's going to make a woman change her mind. Once a woman tell you, oh, I got a boyfriend or, oh, I'm not interested, just bounce. That's what you got to do, man. Don't take it to heart. Don't try to force a conversation. No, bro. Just take your L and move on. But homie couldn't take his L. He could not take the L. He's like, nah, I'm not taking this L. You mean to tell me I walked across these train tracks? <laughs> Almost risk getting hit by a train? Almost risk getting electrocuted? And you mean to tell me you ain't going to talk to me? Oh, nah, we're going to have a conversation. <laughs> That's how thirsty he was. He's like, nah, we're going to have this conversation. Now, I know some of you guys won't go to that extreme, but let's be real here. We could all still learn from this situation that when you're being thirsty, it turns women off and they get more frustrated and repelled by you. This is why I tell you guys, man, just take your L and move on. Never take rejection to the heart. If she don't want you, just move on. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Hey. You have a lot of trash in here. Don't look at my feet. This is a nice car. So where are we going? Do you want to get Dollaritas? Applebee's? No? Well, what do you want to do? You want to stay in your car? Yeah, we can hang out in your car. Where'd you get this at? Is that a Pelican? The back seat. <laughs> I'm okay right here. Yeah, okay, we could go in the back seat, but we're not going to do anything. So how's your relationship with your parents? You don't have, they're dead? Mine are alive, <laughs> but they might as well be dead. When I was five, my dad stood me up when on my birthday. Whoa! Did you just try to kiss me? Go! 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 Go to the front! Go to the front! You're in timeout! I'll go back up there, just because there's like a divider there, so... What the fuck is this? Do you want to go here? Just throw it back with your trash? Okay. Why are there two drinks here? They're still cold. Were you on a date before this? Oh my god, I'm sorry. There's an emergency and I really have to go. Oh, no, seriously, like my dad, my grandpa, my dog, they're all dying. So I, I'll see you later. Okay? We'll catch up later, okay? No, 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 don't worry. I'll, I'll contact you. Bloopers. Hold on, I gotta take this. Hey, mom. Hi, what's up? An emergency? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm getting nauseous. I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, my purse. <laughs> Thank you.
funny video, but this is how women are. They'll talk to you, play around with you, kiki, ha ha, and joking. But the minute you make that move, now she got an excuse on why she got to leave. This is why I tell you guys, be direct with women. Stop wasting time because women will lead you on. They will have you thinking they really into you, but they really don't like you like that. And the minute you try to make that move, she will ghost you. And guys, notice how in the video she was talking about her dad, her dog, her mom, they all dying. This is why I tell you guys, don't buy any of the excuses. They'll tell you all day, oh, my dog died, or I got to take my dog to the vet. My cousin just flew into town. They'll come up with all these excuses just so they won't link up with you. This is why I tell you guys, man, don't buy none of the excuses. Guys, never believe what comes out of these women's mouth. I always tell you this, bro. They will tell you anything. Don't believe it. Do not believe anything she say. Pay attention to her actions. I don't care what she tells me. If she's not in my presence with them legs open, I don't want to hear it. So basically, he dated this girl. She had just been in a five-year relationship. She left that five-year relationship for absolutely no good reason, just the simple fact that she wanted to go and explore. She felt like maybe she was settling. She broke off an engagement with a great guy. She even said to herself like there was nothing wrong, he was a great guy, but she felt like maybe there was something more out there and she hadn't had the chance to really date and she wanted to have her fun and find herself, you know, like the same excuses that every girl uses. So this gentleman starts dating her and he really likes her. He, she plays the good girl innocent card. I told her from the beginning, I was like, this is a huge red flag. It turns out that she was dating both of them at the same time. She still had the door open with her ex and she was dating this gentleman. She was obviously not telling either party <laughs> about it. So she wanted to have her fun. She wanted to have her cake and eat it too. So she kept that door open. Fast forward, um, her and her ex don't work out. She, also, this gentleman and her don't work out because he gets sick of her BS and he finally lets it go. So at that point now, she has nobody. She's clinging on to this gentleman and she really wants to make things work. And he's kind of over it at this point because he's figured her out and he knows that there's no future with this girl. Well, this girl was the type of girl that she wanted to get married and she wanted to have kids and all that stuff. Fast forward. They, they remained friends, the gentleman and this woman. Five years later, she still could, has not been able to find a good guy. The ex that she was engaged to moved on and he's happy and her. Five years later, she has been dating, still hasn't been able to find a good guy to lock it down with. She admits to this gentleman that her biggest regret is letting that guy go, is letting the guy that she was engaged to go. What has she what has she gotten from this? In the last five years, she's been dating, sleeping around, causing trauma to herself. Now she's in her 30s and her time is ticking and she she wanted the marriage, she wanted the kids. She blew up her life just to go and explore and have fun. And guess what? It came back to bite her in the ass because now that she really, really wants to settle down. Nobody wants her. So now she's in this mentality where I see a lot of women online posting saying that, oh, I'm happy single and yeah, I don't want kids. So she's pretending, of course, she's playing the whole card of she's happy single and alone and it's her choice. But we all know the background story and this is how women end up because they pass up on a good guy to go and explore and have fun and whatever. And then they end up single, alone, no kids. And then they pretend like it was their choice, which it wasn't. Guys, what have I always told you? Women will regret losing you. This is why I tell you guys, don't stress it, man. Just stay on your grind. Continue to elevate because women going to always come back. When you a good quality dude and you mean well, it's a woman's loss when she leave you. It's not your loss, man. They going to always lose. I got so many women from the past that rejected me, that left me, and now they want me back. Why? Because I stayed on my grind. I stayed improving myself. And just like I always say, they always think the grass is greener on the other side until they realize that your grass was the best grass. Bottom line, guys, just focus on yourself. Continue to elevate and only deal with the women that want to deal with you. Point blank period, alright? It's your boy Ty X Worldwide, man. I hope you got the message in this video. Just like all my videos, there's a message in there. Y'all already know what to do, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Get with y'all another time.